The Julian dates are often used in manufacturing environments as a timestamp and quick reference for a batch number. Julian dates are also used in programming, military, and astronomy. A Julian date format refers to a date format that is a combination of the year and the number of days since the beginning of the year. There are several variations. A date in this format may include a four-digit year or a two-digit year. The day number may or may not be padded with zeros to always use three digits. The Julian dates for 1-1-2018 and 12-31-2018 are as follows. Two-digit year and days not padded will be 181 and 18365. Four-digit year and days not padded will be 2018-1 and 2018-365. Two-digit year and days padded to three digits will be 18001 and 18365. The four-digit year and days padded to three digits will be 2018001 and 2018365. Excel has no built-in function to convert a standard date to Julian date. For example, to convert the date in A2 to two-digit year and days not padded, you can use this formula. This formula is really two formulas joined as a text string using the ampersand. Use the year function to get the year portion from the actual date. Then use the write function to extract the right two digits of the year. The second part is a bit trickier. For this one, you must find out how many days have elapsed since the beginning of the year. To do so, you first need to subtract the target date from the last day of the previous year. The date function allows you to build a date on the fly using three arguments, the year, the month, and the day. Use a zero as the day argument. When you use zero as the day argument, Excel will get the day before the first day of the given month. When we pass year from A2 2018 to the date function, we get 12-31-2017. When you subtract this from the target date A2, you get the number of days elapsed in that year. Joining the two formulas together with an ampersand builds a Julian date made up of first two characters of the year and the number of elapsed days. You can also use the text function to get the two-digit year. You can also use the date value function to find the last day of the previous year. The date value function converts a date that is stored as text to a date. For month and day, use 1231 and get the year from A2. For a four-digit year, use this formula. Sometimes the day number may be padded with zeros to always use three digits. For a two-digit year plus a day number padded with zeros to three places, use this formula. Use the text function to pad the day values with zeros. For a four-digit year plus a day number padded with zeros to three places, use this formula. To enter current date in Julian format, use this formula. Pass today for date. If you need to convert a Julian date back to a regular date, use the date function with a month of 1 and day equal to the nth day. For example, we have the date 2-15-2019 converted to Julian date with the 4 digit year and days padded to 3 digits, we get 2019-046. Use this formula to convert it back to standard date. Use the left function to get the year, we get 2019. Use right function to get the days, we get 46. In the date function, if day is greater than the days in the given month, Excel will add day to the first day of the specified month. For example, when month is Jan and days are 46, since John has 31 days, when 46 is added from January 1st, we get February 15th. To download example Excel file, please click on the link in the description. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.